Now, one seed is, is Alabama versus uh, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Beautiful camp is at Corpus Christi, um, if you've ever seen it. The uh, the Islanders got a win over South Simo, and I think the uh, I think the tide roll into the uh, third round now because it's the second. That's not yeah. It's, not it's always difficult. the second, technically third, but it it'll always be the second. Can, and then uh, picks, can I tell you a quick story about I, I started a bracket challenge at work about what one of the kids did today. Sure. So I come into work and like, you know, you obviously have on the right on the far right side, you have the matchups yep. and then inside of the brackets. It shows where those games are being played. He thought those were the actual matchups, the actual cities. We laugh now, but that guy's going to win your bracket. No, I, I didn't even count him. Like I didn't even tell him. Like I was like, I feel like I'm going to shame him even more if I did tell him. Cause then he actually, looks he just feels like a complete idiot which he is yeah but why tear him down you know he thinks you know he thinks he's gonna get a free starbucks at target but no huh yeah yeah his, his probably smart by you to not let him not tell him because he would definitely go on and win that bracket yeah or like you know his national title matchup is des moines versus birmingham <laughs> it was actually it was uh I want to say Denver versus Orlando. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> hey, that's going to be Orlando, the Orlando. Uh, I know won the whole thing. So that's going to be the Denver the Magic. Uh, have just won the NCAA tournament. Oh, that's good. About time. That, that's going to be the NBA Finals matchup in three years. You heard it here first. Yeah, Nuggets in Orlando. Yep. yep. Uh, thank you, Jack, for the preview. All right, 2026. I'm, we'll keep your word to it. Yep. yep. All right, back back to picks. Okay. So, and then in the second game, Maryland. The eight seed versus uh, the one nine seeded West Virginia. I like West Virginia. Um, and then uh, San Diego State Charleston. I like Charleston. I like the the twelve seed to upset the five. I think San Diego State's been reeling a little bit. I think Charleston can sh- Charleston can shoot the lights out. And then there's stretches where San Diego State is is not very good on offense. I think that could be the difference. I think Charleston being the underdog, they're going to come out guns blazing and we're not is uh i don't even know if that one's in birmingham i know that one's in orlando okay never mind yep. i just know but, iowa plays auburn in birmingham that's why i said that yeah <laughs> and so i like charleston to move on and i have them playing virginia uh f- from what i've gathered hey raleigh it's a good girl uh, right. sounds like Furman's probably they got here a year early sounds like next year is going to be their year and then in the uh, six eleven matchup, in the portal's probably going to change that. It could. <laughs> in the uh, in the six eleven matchup in the South, the Creighton NC State. I like Ethan's Final Four projection. Creighton three, to three advance. Season, Final Four. Yeah. And then uh, after that one, Baylor UC Santa Barbara. The the Gauchos don't have enough to beat the Baylor Bears. Uh, one of the rare rare occurrences of a of a uh, bear beating a gaucho or cowboy and then missouri utah state i like mizzou don't know a whole lot about other teams i know ethan speaks very highly of the mizzou's coach so dennis yep so you know what i guess i'm gonna roll with uh roll with the tigers and then in the 215 matchup arizona princeton arizona Arizona's a good team. Don't know anything about Princeton. They might be smart, but judging by some of the things that have come out of the Ivy League makes me question that. So into the uh well in and the bracket I actually have, guys, it says first and second round. Can you look at that? Oh, so you got the right you got the right. Oh, bracket. same here. Thank yeah. God. So someone's so, doing it right. I yeah, have the same so, bracket, by the way. Yeah, very neat. Uh-huh. So first Alabama, Alabama, West Virginia. I like the tide to roll on. Uh, that is a that I guess that's a little bit of a Nick Saban Royale because Nick Saban's from West Virginia. But I like the tide to uh, beat Huggy Bear, Charleston versus Virginia. I think Charleston continues their hot shooting and upsets Virginia as Charleston moves on to the Sweet Sixteen. And then in the Creighton Baylor matchup, I'm rolling with the Midwest. I'm rolling with the Jays. I like Creighton. Creighton to move to the Sweet Sixteen. 
Missouri, Arizona, I got to go with the Wildcats. Lute Olsen's from North Dakota. Former coach, RIP, Lute Olsen is from North Dakota. So got to roll with the Wildcats on that one. And then we got the, the Sweet 16 matchups, Alabama versus Charleston. I like Alabama. Alabama there, I think, week off to prepare. Charleston, Cinderella run ends it. Ends just short. And then in the other game, I like in Creighton, Arizona, I like the Wildcats to advance again. And which sets up in the Elite Eight, Alabama versus Arizona. I think Alabama, I think they're playing too well right now. They're just too hot. I think that continues. And I think they find their way to Houston for the Final Four. So that's my South region. All right. Well, I uh, I agree with you. I don't think uh, Texas A and M Christian, whatever their te- team name is, uh, Corpus Christi. Qu- that's the word. Uh, I don't <laughs> think they're going to hang with Alabama. Uh, Brandon Miller is going to get patted down, and it's not going to matter. He's going to move on. Let's go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, then we're going Maryland, West Virginia. I think Maryland's guards are good enough to handle the pressure. Uh, Jameer Young, I think is his name, or Jahir Young. Dude's a freak from Maryland. They're just super quick. Uh, they're studs. So I think they'll be fine. Uh, I got Charleston beating San, San Diego State too. It kind of scares me how many people are picking Charleston, but the pride of Minnesota, Mr. Larson, their point guard is going to lead them to victory. Um, I got Virginia winning too. I know nothing about Furman. Their name just kind of scares me. So we're going with Virginia. Paladins. I think that's their mascot. They it, play because they played the Bison in the playoffs in thirteen. Did they? That was the. Uh, it's just a weird name, you know. It's I'm not getting good vibes. So we're going to go with sexist. Virginia. Yeah, it's fine. Um, <laughs> Creighton, NC State. I think the ACC is terrible. I have one ACC team winning this whole tournament. They might as well just call the, the conference ASS ass this year because it's that bad. <laughs> um, so Ooh, go Ethan Creighton, the, go Blue the Jays. <laughs> um, UCSB. I almost picked them to beat Baylor, but I didn't. So we're going Baylor. Uh, Missouri, Utah State. This might have a total of a 200 points which i'm all Neither for. team plays defense all they do is score which i'm so this for. Should be a fun one yep it's gonna be great and then you got arizona princeton sorry but sat scores don't count during this game so uh arizona moves on <laughs> yeah. okay. all right second round <laughs> uh, alabama maryland alabama are freaks they don't care who they play they're gonna win this game uh charleston virginia uh, wow the battle of virginia here this is exciting oh no it's south carolina I got excited there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Charleston wins. Uh, they are actually extremely good. Uh, I don't think people realize how good they actually are. Creighton, Baylor, I uh, picked them preseason. Still rolling with them right now, taking Creighton. Uh, I just think they're a better team. Baylor Shireman's going to just go off this game. He's finally going to get warmed up. He's been struggling for a bit. And then Missouri, Arizona. Arizona's going to win that. Uh, I don't think Missouri can, ha- can hang with them. I don't think they really beat either Alabama or – the Tennessees of the SEC, so I don't think they're going to beat Arizona. Back to the top, I got the same as Dylan, Alabama over Charleston. Uh, the dream season ends, but uh, it was a heck of a ride for all the Charleston fans. Grant, you're in the dark. This stupid dog. Okay. It's going darkness for um, live podcast. Aaron Rodgers. This is where me and Dylan kind of split off. I'm taking Creighton. Uh, I think they are going to be damn good. I think, pro- honestly, probably after the Big 12, I think the Big East was probably the best actual conference in the in the league or in the country this year they might be the best team or best league outside of the big 12 the last three years this team this conference is loaded but well uh, and i think creighton creighton's a lot better than a six seed but they had that stretch where they lost like six in a row because they had a couple of guys that was one was like he had like mono or something Mm -hmm. i can't remember exactly what it was and then they had another guy that was sick or hurt and they had that rough stretch and that's kind of why they're a six seed. I, I want to say almost it was like four or five of the top six teams in the big East all had like a five game losing streak at one point. Like it was just stupid. They just beat the living shit out of each other. Uh, but still Alabama's too good. They're going to beat Creighton uh, and advance to the final four. All righty, Grant. You're all right. Up. So my turn. Um, and unlike you guys, I was not prepared and I do not have a physical copy of said bracket. So I might need some help just in terms of the matchups, but I remember who I picked on here. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, we're going to start with the number one overall seed in the tournament. And uh, just like Ethan said, Brandon Miller is going to get the, uh, the, the pat down treatment. Like he's at TSA. 
and he's going to be all clear for takeoff and he, him and that Alabama team is going to dominate and they're going to go, they're going to win their first round game probably by 20, 25 points, but they're just the hottest team in America right now. Uh, and I'm, the eight, nine matchup, I I'm going to go for Maryland Terrapins. I'm staying with the big 10 country. I just, I don't think West Virginia has enough offense. They're going to try to put that pressure down on Maryland. Uh, but I think Maryland's going to be able to beat that press. They're going to score and West Virginia's not going to be able to match up. Um, after that. And then when we go, to, what's the next? Is it the 6 11 game below that? Yeah. Guys? yeah. No, uh, 5 12. 5 12. 5 12. Uh, well, three's company. We, uh, we're all picking Charleston here. Um, just, and you know what? Like Ethan says, they're very good. I don't know anything about Charleston, but, um, when I was watching, uh, you know, when the brackets came out on Sunday, whether it was CBS or ESPN, everyone was saying Charleston is going to be a good upset team. And I said, you know what? It's a 5 12. That's the upset that happens every year. We'll, we'll roll with Charleston. And it's voted the number one city in America every year. So we're, we're going to roll with it. Uh, That's probably because Alex Murdoch is not there anymore. Who? <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. probably. <laughs> <laughs> had to get that yeah, one. had to in. get that one in there. Hey, don't steal money, folks. Bad things will happen to you. <laughs> or drugs. Or drugs. And then um, after, and then uh, we're at the four eleven, right? Uh, four thirteen. Yep. Virginia. I'm Furman. sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Furman here, guys. I'm going with the I'm going with Furman. I'm going with the upset. Kind of like West Virginia. I don't think Virginia has enough offense to score, and they're missing their center who broke his hand before the ACC tournament. I think that's just gonna wear on this team a little bit and Tony Bennett struggles outside of winning that championship here in Minneapolis is going to continue. So we'll go with Furman um, getting, getting the, uh, the upset there. All right. Uh, six eleven at Creighton NC state. I'm with Ethan. I'm going Creighton. Um, I think the ACC is garbage. NC state should not have been in the tournament this year. They lost to Clemson three times in the, a Clemson team that didn't make the tournament. NC State doesn't belong. Creighton's a better team than what they are. And uh, I'll roll with uh, Ethan's preseason team to advance to the second round. I, I think that's going to probably be the biggest win in the first round. I think Creighton absolutely beats the living shit up. Yeah, like I said, Ooh. the ACC was just – it was a bad conference this year. And NC State, they lost to – They can – when they can sh- – when they hit shots, they're good, but they've – they're so it's so inconsistent of when they when they do it. Yeah. Like if they if they're able to, yeah, they I can easily see them beating NC State, but I just don't trust and, them. And but kind of like what Ethan said, I just don't trust the ACC. So uh, I'm gonna go Creighton, and then uh, the three three fourteen. Uh, I said the Baylor Bears were in the Final Four to start the year, so I'm gonna roll with the Baylor Bears, even though they have struggled in the tournament. They either win it all or they lose in the second round. But uh, we're going to roll with the Baylor Bears here in round one. And then um, is 7-10 after this? Yep. Mizzou, Missouri, Utah State. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with Mizzou. They're scoring a lot of points. They're feeling confident. We're going to go with the uh, go with the Tigers there. And then uh, for some reason, I'm drawing a blank on this 2-15 game. Arizona-Princeton. Arizona. Like Ethan said, SAT scores don't matter. Uh, Arizona, they always have seven guy. They always have three guys who are over seven feet tall. They're going to put up ninety points. Arizona is going to advance. All righty, and then so now you've got Alabama, Alabama, Maryland. Maryland uh, again, I'm just I'm going to roll with the tide. I think Maryland finally matches someone who's just as athletic as they are, if not more athletic. They're not playing the Gophers or Iowa. Um, <laughs> the, the Terps aren't in this game, so Alabama is going to. Uh, they're going to advance into the uh end of the sweet 16. All Stop right, now we've got a uh 12-13 matchup between Charleston and Furman. Well, hey, it's the number 1 city in America. Charleston's going to the sweet 16. Okay. All right, now we got Creighton Baylor. I'm going to go with Creighton cuz I think this Ooh, is where Oh, that's a sweep, so probably pick Baylor. Yep, so I think this is where the <laughs> struggles this year of Baylor come back to, to catch him. I think McDermott's going to have Creighton ready to play, and the, the Blue Jays pull off the upset. 
Okay, and then we've got Mizzou, Arizona. I'm, I'm going to go with Arizona here. Like I just said, they're too tall. They're too, um, they're too athletic. They can score a bunch of points. This game might be first to, first to 100. Um, but I'm, I'm going to go with the Wildcats here. And then okay. All right. and it's sweet 16. 16. We've got a, a sweep of Alabama, Charleston. Well, let's make it a sweep. We're going with the Tide. We got the Tide in the Elite Eight, and uh, are you are you are you saying you're going to roll with the absolutely. Tide? And then uh, <laughs> right here, I think Creighton's magic runs out, and I got Arizona playing Alabama in the, in the Elite Eight. Oh wow! So we're we're already off. We we're all no. Ethan had Creighton. Never mind. Okay. And then uh, I just think they're the hottest team in America right now. They have the best player in America, and I have, they have the best coach in America, Nate Oates. So the Alabama Crimson Tide, they're going to Houston. 